The AI we define as a set of technologies that, uh, that can uh, sense what's happening around it through sensors, comprehend, understand what's happening, learn from, you know, from uh, the, the engagement and encounters it has, and take action to, you know, to make things happen differently. So sense, comprehend, learn, and act are the characteristics of, of AI systems. And it's all around us today. So if you're using Siri or Alexa, or uh, uh, you know, many other capabilities. If you're using search engines on you know, consumer product sites, you're using AI today. So all of us are using it on a daily basis. You know, maps applications are another great example. The reason it's such a big deal is that AI is transforming rapidly and creating uh, new capability to apply, you know, to apply AI, to apply new solutions to how we work and live in many, many different ways. And we believe AI is the, you know, the biggest change that we see ahead in terms of the way that business and organizations operate for the next 10 years. We call it the alpha trend, you know, the alpha trend, meaning the, the biggest trend of, that's shaping all the other technology trends that are happening. And uh, that's why it's such a big consideration right now. We talked about this idea of the missing middle, which is the new jobs that are created by AI. And there's a, there's a vast new set of jobs that are created like every other uh, t technology revolution that we've had before. There's going to be more new jobs created than jobs eliminated. The real challenge is how do we reskill everyone so that those that are, you know, whose jobs change are able to adapt to the changes in jobs and those who might lose their jobs because of AI enabled automation are ready for a different type of job. And it's everybody's responsibility. Uh, business has an obligation to train their employees. And it's not just an obligation, it's a competitive advantage. We also need governments and educational institutions to do more to prepare everybody in general. We need to prepare the next generation to be ready for AI. So there's a public sector, government obligation, a business obligation, and then many organizations coming together to really solve the whole puzzle. Not everybody needs to become a programmer to be uh, successful in it, <laughs> which is uh, uh, important to know for the, the AI economy we're moving into. The majority of, of, of jobs, the majority of, of uh, people won't be doing programming. Uh, we do need more programmers. We have a shortage of programmers in most countries around the world. We need more AI experts, machine learning experts, more computer scientists. But that's a smaller part of the workforce. What we really need are to invest in the educational programs and make sure every person, you know, every, every child growing up now and every worker in the workforce understands digital technology, understands how to use AI-enabled tools in the course of doing their job. And that's where the big reskilling comes in. We need to both, both uh, help the people, we need to develop AI, which are the coders and computer scientists and AI experts, and we need reskilling for the people who use AI in the course of doing their jobs. Thank you.